Brameo hot people and welcome to a completely different video. Last week with a death, Shadow Peace has ended or at least it is questionable how the world can continue. I am thinking about an epilogue and other things to do so there might be another episode or two or three coming up in the future. So with that said, the question is also what will be our next journey and my answer to that question is Reverse Peace. I already talked about this a long time ago. If you forgot what a reverse piece is, it is a what-if scenario with reversed roles, but the personalities stay the same. Marines turn into pirates, pirates turn into marines, celestial dragons and the world government turn into the revolutionary army and vice versa. Neutral people remain the same, which means kings and kingdoms are on the same side, Vegapunk remains a marine affiliate and Wano is Wano. The warlords are still a system used by the marines, which means seven of the reversed marines are now warlords. Which seven marines fit this theme in your opinion? We are strictly speaking pre time skip right now. Smoker seems like a very likely pick for me in that matter. Oh, and the Yonkos are pretty obvious. We have Sengoku, Sakazuki, Kuzan and Borzalino. However, something different in this universe is that the Pirate King is still alive. And his name is Monkey D. Gar, the hero of the people. Something you also need to remember is only important for the post time skip era. After two admirals opened up their positions, the world draft was used to recruit new and strong people into the marines. But these new recruits were part of the neutral side before that, as far as we know at least. Which would still mean that people like Fujitora and Greenbull would, could still become marines, or maybe they would go down a different path entirely. As the production of Reverse Peace is slowly starting, feel free to share ideas and things you would like to see and what you would think makes sense for this scenario. If you are new and are interested in this what if scenario, consider clicking on the subscribe button to see it officially start. But prepare yourself. My what if style is very different. It leans more to the side of being a full fan story, which means many weekly episodes with creative freedom and a lot of details. I look forward to seeing all kinds of new faces and a fun adventure this time with our rubber boy Monkey D. Luffy back in the position of the main character. It's only fair to once again say rest in peace Maria, may you find eternal rest in Valhalla or maybe you belong to hell. Writing for Luffy might be a bigger challenge because he is the actual protagonist of One Piece and some people probably will see my decisions more critical in this sense. But what if scenarios are supposed to be out there and just for fun of it? So nobody's going to stop me. The biggest hurdle for reverse peace will be determining the versions of justice the new marines will follow. In your opinion, what is the way of justice of the straw hat marines, the red hair marines, the beast marines, the big mom marines or the white beard marines? Listing them all up like that makes it even more obvious how powerful the marines are in this version of One Piece. But are they willing to work together as one force or will we see the internal problems rise up? A faction war between the Rocks Marines and the Roger Marines does sound pretty intriguing. There are many things that can happen and you can look forward to that. There are still other potential One Piece water scenarios and also completely original One Piece stories but for now let's prepare ourselves for reverse peace. However let me also tell you something. The following what if scenarios are serious I will not work on as I just think they are not interesting enough. First of all. What if the straw had strained for longer than two years? Let me explain. If the straw had strained even more, like just a single day longer in the series, the entire New World journey would have been different and it's not possible to work with that. Hordi's attack on Fisherman Island will already be finished, probably just stopped by Jinbei as I believe the whale shark wasn't just gonna watch and let his home island be attacked and destroyed. Then uh, we go further and we also have Karibu and some other rookies who will join the straw fake straw heads for some reason. But this much is still going to be lifted quite fast. The only people happy with the straw heads returning later is that one pirate crew that got their ship cut in half by Zoro. We don't know anything about them and maybe they still didn't even make it to Fishman Island because going down there is quite dangerous. Then the third arc is Punk Hazard, but the help signal was issued days ago or however much later Luffy and his crews restart the adventure. That means our gang will probably just follow the new world log posts they still received in Fishman Island. This in turn stops every other arc from happening. Luffy will never form an alliance with Law, he will never meet Kinemon and Momonosuke and Zoro will never slay a dragon. Okay, let's not say never on that last one, he might still find a dragon. And 
Hey, Monet doesn't die at least, so we have one more waifu. That's neat, I guess. So that also means that the Straw Hats once saved Dressrosa, and people like Rebecca, Kiros, Cavendish, Bartolomeo, and all these other pirates will probably die because of Dopey's birdcage. I am up for debate whether those peoples are strong enough to deal with the Flamingo pirates themselves. But one thing is for sure, the Straw Hat Grand Fleet never gets formed. The group won't go to Zoe, so when Jack returns to the elephant the second time, the Minx might all die, and Kyra will get his hands on a second road poneglyph. At this point, Whole Cake Island would probably still take place, because the Germa will still like, like try to marry off Sanji to Big Mom. However, this time the Straw Hats are not split up. Seeing Zoro, Frankie, Robin and Usopp in a Whole Cake Island is probably the best thing that happens in this one scenario. All of that leads to a much bigger fight against the Big Mom Pirates. But at this point, Luffy is not strong enough to defeat a Yonko. After all, he only learned advanced armament Haki because he was trained by Hyogoro. And I don't think that there's anyone like in Whole Cake Island that is willing to train Luffy. If they manage to save Sanji and escape with a copy of the Road Poneglyph, they would once again follow the log post, probably being chased by Big Mom. Maybe you could debate that Zoro, Sanji, Beige and Luffy together would be strong and smart enough to win against Big Mom, maybe if anything just by pushing her into water or something. But I am on the side that she is just too strong. Unless the Straw Hats trained for an extra year or something and Luffy learned advanced arm and conquer us by Rayleigh's help or so, I don't see them having a chance in defeating Big Mom at that point. Wano is already completely destroyed because Kaido planned to drop Onigashima with all these explosives on the Faroe capital during that one festival. Orochi would still die but by Kaido's hands and Kaido now has completely, like, complete control over the island and maybe he will get his hands on Pluton as well because it's sad to be stationed in Wano. But nobody's there to save Wano, the samurai will never return and everybody is just not, not knowing anything, they just suffer. And from here on out we don't know how the manga will go, but with destroy its training for a longer period of time, they wouldn't be a part of the story either. Just think of Egghead Island. Destroy it wouldn't be there, and that means that the person in Egghead Island wouldn't be protected by the Straw Hat from CP0. And that's another death. And that's all for that what-if scenario. That's, it's just not enough to make an entire series about it. At most I could have it stretched into a single video, but I don't necessarily like stretching things. Even though our protagonist is a rubber human. The second what-if scenario I heard was what if Luffy was a girl, and let me be honest, I don't want to waste my time on that story. The story would have been completely the same, just with a great female character as the protagonist, and knowing Oda, probably some boob expansion jokes because of the devil fruit powers Luffy has. And the last what-if scenario I will avoid is what if Ace ate Luffy's devil fruit. It does sound pretty interesting at first, but there is just not enough to go off. We don't know a lot about the fruit, and Ace's journey isn't very detailed either. All we got is a pair of light novels and manga novels, uh, manga volumes. Plus we can let Ace just remain in the afterlife. The poor boy deserves a donut break. This is a good point to round everything up. It's been a while since I talked about so many different what if scenarios. I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to the future of this channel. Don't forget to comment about everything reverse piece related and whatever else you might want to tell me. Because now we all know it. We did it! One Piece! Shadow Piece has ended, and we are about to go over to Reverse Piece. One Piece is never going to stop, there's always something to talk about, and I can't wait to share this adventure with you as well. All that's left to say is stay happy, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay cultured. This has been Pyro Prima, your local Fire Elemental, and we will see each other again in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye!